Hey guys, welcome to Mainstream Linux. Today we're going to be taking a look at Manjaro Mica 20.1.2 Deepen pre-release. Also, hang on for a couple minutes in the video I'm going to go over how you can get entered into the Xbox Series X giveaway that's going to be going out November 30th. Okay, Manjaro, 20.1.2, Deepen pre-release. Now, this is something that I've been looking forward to because about a year, year and a half ago, I ventured off to Deepen, uh, Manjaro Deepen for a little while, and uh, got away from my KDE Plasma that I run as my daily driver, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. There were some things I felt were still a little, you know, buggy, glitchy with it, but I wanted to take a look now that they're doing a pre-release on this one just to see what they got going on and and uh, and just kind of go around it. I'm going to be, you know, adventuring through this for the first time, just like y'all. So let's take a look at it. Uh, here's our launcher. And if I remember what I've read is this will go to a big full screen or you can go up here in the corner and minimize it to a regular. OK, regular size. I kind of like that, actually. So. But let's go ahead and go bigger so we can see what we got going here. And I know some of these apps aren't running at present for the simple fact that it is a pre-release. They're still doing coding work on it, so we'll go from there. But first off, let's just take a look and see if File Manager opens. Hmm, didn't open. Will it open from the dock? Or from the... Well, it opens down there. Well, let's see here. Okay. Okay, so we're in a light mode. Um... I like the dark mode. Wonder if I can change that real quick. Let's take a peek. Let's zip on over and see settings, or that would be control center. I'm sorry. Control center, display default, personalization, general. Let's go dark. Okay. So you do have the dark, and then you can adjust your transparency, obviously. Oh, that's on my bottom bar. Look down there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's shut that up. Uh, really like the file manager. Uh, it's very beautiful. It's a good-looking file manager. I know I've seen uh, uh, Deepin on the uh, Ubuntu. Uh, I really wanted to see what it looked like with Manjaro, and it's looking really good, actually. So you got home, desktop, videos, music, pictures. Now, what I was wanting to check is one thing I do like about Genome, or I'm sorry, Gnome, or Gnome, or whatever you all want to call it, is to see if they added... Accounts. Okay, so we don't have online accounts. Okay, so in accounts, I've got display. I've got it set at 1680 by 1050. For some reason, when I try to set it to 1920, it doesn't render correctly in VirtualBox. So I'm sorry for the black bars on the sideline or on the side. So there's resolution. There's brightness. Display scaling. So you can just you can scale it up if you want things bigger. Refresh rate. Uh, default applications, web page, is for Firefox, mail. We don't have a default mail installed, but it is a pre-release, so maybe maybe that'll change. But one thing I am noticing right off the bat is if I go in here to try to launch something, it doesn't launch, but let me see something. Right-click. Can we send it to doc? Send it to doc. Close. Okay, the apps seem to be launching from the dock, but not in the application launcher itself. So, I don't know what's up there, but it is a pre-release, so what do you expect? Uh, does it have HTOP? It does. So, what are we looking at here? We're using 812 megs of the 2 gigs that I've got assigned for RAM. I've only got 2 cores of my CPU assigned to because I kind of wanted to see how it worked on a low spec system so that way if you've got an older laptop or something laying around and you want to you know throw manjaro deep in on it you can do it and know that you'll be able to get around and have something that's useful uh even with your low specs so it seems to be doing uh, well there actually so let's go ahead and close that so as of right now if you go in here let me see i bet firefox no firefox won't launch but if you pin it to the dock or send it to the dock it will launch maybe yep there we go okay so i don't know must be something in the pre-release 
that you're working with. But as of right now, they won't launch out of here, but they will launch on the dock. So, but that's, you know, like I said, it's pre-release. I'm sure before it, it hits full release, they'll make sure that they've got everything set up and it's ready to go. So, okay. Uh, can you change the wallpaper? Let's change. The, can we see? Okay. I love the bird wallpaper, but let's see what else we might have. Uh, what is that? Let's just go with something bright and colorful. Why not? Okay. Uh, one thing I do really like is if you go down here and you've got your battery, you've got your Wi-Fi, you got your sound, you got uh, your updates, but you can hit this little arrow and they just disappear and go away. So that you're you're not so cluttered on the bottom bar, which is great. Uh, one thing I wanted to go over real quick, guys, before we get too much further into this video, um, my channel, as young as it is, we're giving away an Xbox Series X. We'll be doing that November 30th, which is two weeks. Uh, and watch this quick video, and when you get done watching this video, I'll tell you how you can enter. Love that video. But anyway, here's the easiest way to enter. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel. You subscribe to my channel and you're entered. Now, the beauty of it is, is if you subscribe, subscribe, sorry, and also leave a comment, you will be entered twice. So like I said, you have nothing to lose. Win yourself an Xbox Series X console. We'll be giving that out November 30th. Okay, back to Manjaro Deepin. Okay, so we've looked at the file manager. Let's just go over through the control center and see what all we have over here. And like I said, it doesn't launch from there. I did it. Sorry, guys. Uh, personalization, date and time, system info. Look about this PC. It's 20.1 pre-1 Manjaro edition, 64-bit. We're running on kernel 5.8.11-1. Uh, my processor is an Intel Core i5. I've only assigned two cores, and I've only assigned two, gigabit, two gigabytes of memory. Uh, you got your keyboard, input, mouse, double click, peek out, power, date, sound, uh, left, right, output. So input device, devices. I won't touch that because the last time I did, it changed the level of my microphone and it blew out everybody's eardrums that were watching my watching my video so network personalization now what I do like is I'm on dark mode now if you don't like the accent color of blue you can zip on over and make it green more Manjaro-ish or teal or orange yellow that's kind of a red gray purple so I, I like that you can change it around and make it fit what you want to do with it so I'll just leave it on there for now now what where is the software? Software software update, add and remove software. Let me go ahead and send that to doc so we can open it, add and remove software. Okay, so it's the it's the regular Manjaro. So if you go here, you should be able to go ahead and set the Arch user repository. Confirm. Okay. Yes, there's advanced, there's official repositories. Okay, unlike, I'm using uh, Manjaro 20.1.2 KDE Plasma, and it gives you the option in this area, past the Arch user repository, to have snap packs, and I believe flat packs as well. 
that doesn't have this on here, but it is a pre-release, so that might be something that's included in a later release. So we'll just have to check back and look at that. But overall, this is a very good looking operating system. I didn't think it would ever come back, but it looks like they are bringing it back. And it is a nice desktop. Uh, and it's very, I'm, I'm very impressed at the fact that, let me look. Again, HTOP, 914 megs at idle is not bad at all. If you think about it, especially if you've, you've used any of the uh, GNOME versions of any OS, whether it be Ubuntu, whether it be Linux Mint, Solus, you look at the GNOME versions, even the XFCEs run anywhere from a gig up to 1.7 gigs. Uh, Budgie runs up around 1.5. So, I mean, this isn't a lot of resources to run this desktop environment. I'm very impressed with the simple fact that the KDE version of Manjaro I use sits idle at about five to 600. So it's obvious if you're going to have Deepin, you're going to have a little bit uh, more beautiful experience. It's going to be a little bit heavier on the resources, but I'm still surprised that it uses less than Genome and it uses less than XFCE in my experience. Now, if you guys got a different experience, if you would just throw it down there in the comments and I will take a look at it. But this is it. Manjaro Deepin 20.1.2 uh, pre-release. Uh, you can download it on a USB and, and try it out and put it through its paces, but very impressed. And I don't want to forget to remind you all again. Get in here, subscribe to my channel, get entered in that contest to win that Xbox Series X that we're giving away on November 30th. And if you want to be entered twice, drop down and hit a comment after you subscribe. I appreciate y'all watching my video day. Give Manjaro a shot. Um, and thank you for watching Mainstream Linux.